Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Welcome back to Kevin's Kitchen. And today we're making a bacon wrapped stuffed pork loin. Cheers. Okay, you know what? Step one, you're gonna prepare your loin. Rinse them out of the pack, cut them open. To my surprise, this one loin had actually two. Um, if you like this video, if you love me and my channel, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. My buddy Anthony told me I should do a roll cut for this particular video. We talked about it for a while. Uh, he had more faith in my skills than I did. This is my first time doing this. Um, and from the research that I did, you just have to make sure your knife is super duper sharp and make precise cuts and roll your loin out or whatever your protein is that you're um, using for your dish. This is a pork one for me. So, you know, the rolling kind of starts and, you know, discarding loose fat or skin that you see that you don't need. Um, small, precise cuts like you see here and you see I'm kind of rolling just a little bit. Um, yeah, the second one did a little better than the first one, but hey, this is my first time doing this. It's all a learning process. You know what I'm saying? Looks pretty darn good if you ask me. I know you all are sitting there already with the birds all ready to brine, wrapped in bacon. We're good to go for, for Thanksgiving. This year, I wanted to do something a little different, uh, just a different take on it. So for step two, you're gonna lay your stuffing. I've already prepared mine and it's made with sausage and sage and craisins um, and a cornbread dressing. I really wanted to pack as much flavor into this pork loin as I possibly could. Um, yeah, so you just layer it down, pat it down, make sure you get a decent enough amount of surface co surface coverage, pardon me. You don't want to overstuff the loin when the time comes to roll it. There we go, just like so. Better angle for you. Press it down, make sure we're all adhered and we are good to roll. Hey, Kev, that's enough padding. Roll. <laughs> so yeah, just take, and this pork loin, it, there's a lot of give and wiggle room, so it will, get back in there. It will definitely, um, roll over and your your stuffing will will mostly stay in there and you want to roll it tight but not too tightly because this is going to uh constrict when you cook it so roll carefully you know this is the smaller of the two loins that were in that pack i only, i swear i only thought i was buying one roll but you know i'll take a bogo come on Publix, i see you <laughs> And we've got one semi-neatly rolled pork tenderloin. Anthony, hope I did you proud. And we'll run that back one more again. Lay your stuffing and roll. Rolling with the pork loin. <laughs> I'm a fool. I hope everybody is prepared for an amazing uh, holiday weekend, amazing time with their friends and loved ones while the kids are out of school. Um, wish I could be uh, with my special some ones, but we love all of my friends and family. Got our good but great bacon. So our next step is we're actually gonna go ahead and wrap these in bacon. Sometimes you could, you know, just use the butcher's twine to hold it all in. I just wrapped it with enough bacon to make sure it was going to stay where it needed to be. You know what I mean? And it takes a little bit of time, so we jump into a time lapse. Yeah, the rest of the food that I've been preparing just made me hungry all day. And I knew I was going to make this dish. And I'm like, well... It'll all be worth it in the end. Just gotta see it through. 
you ever get that way in the kitchen? You sample so much stuff while you're cooking. By the time dinner rolls around, you aren't hungry. <laughs> Your guests are like, why aren't you eating? What you do to the food? Nothing. I'm just, I'm good. Where's my cocktail? <laughs> so we've got all of this ready. And our next step is time for the seasonings. So I'm going to start out with a little ground sage. It's freshly ground, although we don't know who ground it. <laughs> I'm sure there's a tense thing there, but whatever. So, yep, da -da 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 -da. get all of our tap on. Oh my gosh, this looks like it's gonna be phenomenal. And you can use, you can play around with the seasoning here. You can use as little or as much as you want, but because I was utilizing pork, we use this pork perfect and the ground sage, cause sage and pork, and you know, they just are two things that go together so decadently, especially during the fall. Little garlic powder never hurt anybody. I know it may seem weird, but a part of me wanted to substitute the craisins for apples. I know, apples and stuffing, but inside the pork, it would make sense. And we're gonna place this on a wire rack Save yourself the cleanup and lace your uh, baking sheet with uh, aluminum foil. And we're gonna bake this in a preheated oven at 400 degrees until the pork loin reaches a safe internal temperature of 145 degrees. You'll allow it to rest for 10, 15 minutes and then we will start slicing like I'm about to do right now. I swear y'all, one day I wanna work on these angles uh, or I'll hire myself a camera person to come over and make sure my hands aren't in the shot. <laughs> Always. Okay, turned out good. Proof is in the pudding and the pudding is the taste. <laughs> yeah. The next time I make this, it'll be undefined and awesome. Again, sorry for my hand being in the way, but look at this. Now on the stove, I've got uh, some whole cranberry sauce uh, reducing down into a little compote. So when we start plating, we'll have the perfect sauce to dress this with. I didn't want to do a pan dripping or a gravy for this. I really wanted something sweet to cut through the, the pork and you know just the right amount of, of zing and tang. Oh y'all look at that. I need to make it again instead of sitting here drinking champagne doing a voiceover. I need it now. <laughs> oh man. Well tis the season friends. I hope this is a dish that you will try. And if you do, tag me in some comments. I want to see. Let me know what you got going on. For those of you who don't know, one more time, subscribe, like, turn on your post notification bells, and look at that. For those of you who don't know, my first uh, soul food cookbook is out. It's called Season with Soul, out now. Hey, I hope everybody's doing well. This video, you know, it's a Tuesday. It's a very special Tuesday, but dinner didn't quite go like planned, but... This <laughs> turned out pretty darn exceptional. And, you know, bacon wrapped, sausage and sage and cranberry stuffed pork loin. You know I gotta get that bite. Dipping it in a sauce. Hold on one second. You know, we like, it. we saucy. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. This isn't fair. It's not fair because you should be here to have some. <laughs> Man, this is so good. Just something that's in my head and needed to get it out at some point in time. But it is what it is, friends. I can't even continue to speak. 
So I'll see you next week.